Okay, this is going to be a review of John C. Wright's The Last Straw, the epic hate letter to uh, uh, Disney Star Wars and The Last Jedi. Uh, so, just describing what the book is, uh, it's when The Last Jedi came out and uh, John C. Wright uh, was eventually convinced to uh, watch it. John C. Wright being an uh, sci independent science fiction author and arguably one of the uh, grandmasters of the modern English language. So, I mean, fairly accomplished writer and storyteller. So, he um, was also a lifetime Star, o lifetime old, like old guard Star Wars fan. This is like the guy, who, the generation that saw it in the theater. So, and anyway, he uh, watches the Last Jedi, and he did a series of blog posts just criticizing and taking it apart piece by piece by piece. So, um, he's taken those po posts, um, expanded them slightly, and done it into you know, basically a full book. And the first half, maybe two-thirds of the book, he's just going through the story of The Last Jedi and pointing out in intricate and hilarious detail, point by point, of, of how every point of the story is absolutely stupid and ridiculous. He's making suggestions about what could have been done better, um, and he is just just unleashing into this movie. It's like, um, absolutely hilarious, absolutely br uh, brutal, um, and again, John C. Wright, the master storyteller, incredibly insightful book. And, I mean, this is everything The Phantom Menace was whining about, but without the whining. This is the, uh, this is the Big Daddy uh, beat down here. So, and point by point on every every aspect of the movie, uh, just just destroying it. Comparing it to the original, the original Star Wars, the original theme, pointing out what could have been done better. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and after that, he goes at the first 60% of the story is just... just Point by point, going over the storytelling. After that, he goes into the uh, characters and theme, and it's just as brutal there. Last couple of chapters, he's trying to put things into perspective. Um, if you disagree with John C. Wright's politics and worldview, uh, you might not enjoy the last two chapters. Personally, I thought it put everything into perspective. And uh, this book, um, again, it's 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 almost therapeutic. Just like everything, every negative thing you were thinking about the uh, Disney Star Wars, he states in perfect, man, eloquent, very purple prose. Some people might not like that, but again, this is John C. Wright. This is kind of what he does. So, and so overall, I'll give, this is a five out of five. Um, sets out what it, it book does a specific thing. It sets out to do it and does it masterfully. Um, Again, five out of five. If you disagree with John's John's politics, if you're like center left, um, you're still gonna enjoy the first two thirds of the book. So, five out of five, maybe a three and a half if you're uh, one of the um, Fedora guys. But um, anyway, everything the Phantom Menace was bitching about, he he justifies in intricate detail. Uh, I don't know if he would, we can actually convince him to watch uh, Rise of Skywalker. I think he might kill everyone in the theater, and he is, I think, as far as I can tell, a pacifist, or near pacifist. So, um, yeah. Get this book if you're a Star Wars fan. It reminds us of what we could have had. It tears apart the, um, the structure. It, it's just brutal against Ryan Johnson. Just absolutely brutal. Points out... It goes into the, all the plot threads in the, from The Force Awakens and points out how The Last Jedi kills every single one of them. So, there's absolutely nothing left to, for the sequel. So, anyway. Very highly recommending. And, you know. We'll find out.